How's it going? Sean from Tackle Tactics. As you can see, I'm out for another glorious day. And uh, I've got a couple of hours this afternoon and school holidays to get out and have a flick. Um, school holidays times can be pretty busy on the water, which means that a lot of uh, fish are going to see very similar techniques and um, sometimes an out of the box presentation can be what's required. So today, my little box of tricks, I'm going to throw around some MEPS, some MEPS spinners. So a couple of different varieties that I'm going to use. Um, this is a technique I've used in the past quite well. Um, I'll do some close-ups a bit later on exactly the models and whatnot. But it might seem like something that, you know, is more a freshwater type technique, but is quite successful in the saltwater environment as well. So stay tuned, we'll see how we go. Okay, as you can see, this, uh, this map spinner that I've had has had a fair bit of use. I've had to change the hooks, the original hooks off the back, which I've done by cutting off, just putting a split pin on there. But there's plenty of life in it. I've only ever used this spinner in the salt, so quite a testament to how well they stand up. A little bit of pro cure under the under the spinner is pretty good. And uh, we're gonna see how we go. Uh, let's see what happens. It's a little bit deeper out here, so I've chosen the number two. I'm just gonna let it sink. A couple of quick flicks off the bottom. And just get into a nice slow retrieve. If you're not thinking that the, uh, the blade's spinning, just give it a quick couple of jabs. See how you go engaging it. Probably see it flashing away there quite nicely. Nice little pulse. And it has caught a bit of weed along the way. Working up towards a bit of a, a point up here. I'm just going to flick up to the edge. A bit of a testing cast, see how deep it is. Not very deep. Come on. A little. But got the Got the species, that's what we're after. There you go. Five minutes and we've hit the mark. Happy days. Pass right in towards the edge. I know it's quite shallow there, so quickly riding in the stack, a couple of quick hops, just to get the blades engaged, and then a slow roll. When I think I've got out towards the edge, I can let it dip for a minute by just pausing it and slow roll again. You might be able to see it, but I can see just the fringes of some weed. Some weed, so that only tree in the paddock scenario. Try and pick around all the edges of the weed. A bit like when you work your soft plastics and stuff. And just um, see if you can raise a fish. Like as the fish push up with the tide, they should be looking for, for that bait. And the bait tends to hang around structure. So the bigger fish tend to hang around the structure as well. So make your maps look like a like a bit of structure, you should be in the game. Okay. Good 
friend of mine says pick the pockets. Which is what we're doing, just picking the pockets. So the boat's positioned in about one and a half. And I'm probably casting up into about half a meter of water if I'm lucky. I'm just looking for those active active fish that are happy to get up on the flats. I don't really need to pause the, this little one maps because I don't really want to get snagged up. I'm just literally bouncing over, slow rolling it across the top. See a lot of activity right on the edge, like right right in where I can't get to, so hopefully a bit of activity sitting out wide. Sure, I've got something following it there. Yep. Oh, how's that for a take? That is a great take. Just actually watched him chase it up too. It's excellent. It's so good. Give me some, give me some business. Did you just see this little? It just looked like a bit of puff of dirt. Okay, another one. Another good size, flat. On the, on the helios. And that last take was just unreal, like actually walk through the polarized could see the flathead chasing it down and when I pause the lure it stopped just behind it have a look as soon as I lifted it up off the bottom and put a crank or two on it was on it and uh, this goes to show that you know they'll chase it down that consistent line and that pause is just going to help every now and then so it doesn't hurt to if you, you know they're, they're good clues seeing what if you can see what the fish are doing that's unreal on the day Tough the battle. Okay. Some days they're just going to like that constant retrieve. Other days you're really going to have to hang it in their face and and try and get them to commit. And that's where a bit of procure or help as well. You know. I'm a firm believer in procure. You know, any any little thing that's going to help you get that fish to commit, it's definitely worth worth it. Yep, there we go. Felt that. Just right on the pause. Let's see. Yep. He's just a little tucker this one. Still giving us the run around. Right. Right. There you go. It's obviously not big enough to, to keep but Good example of what can be can be achieved. He couldn't quite get the bug all the way down like his his mate. That's all right. Yeah, um, I hope you got a few tips out of that little flat session we had. Um, if you haven't had a go of the maps, it might just be the out of box presentation that um, you need, especially during holiday time. So get out there, give it a go. Catch us later.